So our solution is done. Now we will see the results. So as you can see the problem here, the problem is asking for a contour of velocity, temperature and pressure. It is also asking a plot of velocity, temperature and pressure at D, 2D and 3D downstream location. So first of all, we will see the velocity, temperature and pressure contour. So if you go to here, you can see the solution is done. And as if you go to the graphics and animation in the mesh and if you select all of this surface except the interior domain and display it will show you the the domain of our mesh and now if you select this outline and display it will show you just the outline of our domain and we want to see a contour always remember that contour is a 2d plot so we have to create a plane at the middle of this domain and then we will plot on that plane so first we have to create a plane and we will create a plane at the middle of this domain so as you can see here our center is the center of the cylinder if we go to the geometry module and you can see this if you make it normal you can see this so if you go here xy plane you can see this point is the origin of our domain so this point the coordinate system is x equals to 0, y equals to 0 and z equals to 0. Now remember this coordinate and we will use this coordinate later time. So as you can see this is the origin and our whole domain length is 60 inch. The downstream is 40 inch and the upstream is 20 inch. So this point you have a coordinate system of minus 20 0 and 0 because you have only translation in minus x direction if we want to choose this point this point the coordinate of this point would be x equals to minus 20 y equals to plus 15 and z equals to 0 for this point, our coordinate system will be x equals to minus 20, y equals to minus 15 and z equals to 0. If we want to select this point, the coordinate would be x equals to plus 40 inch, y equals to plus 15 inch and z equals to 0. Similarly this point the coordinate system will be x equals to plus 40 and y equals to minus 15 z equals to 0 need to know where the origin is and then we will create the plane based on this origin and this coordinate system so if you go to here new surface you can see we have lots of options like we can create points we can create lines we can create planes so if you select plane and now it will ask you the XYZ coordinate system so our main purpose is to create a plane and to create a plane we need different points we can use these points or what we can do we can create a isosurface the isosurface is a really interesting features in ANSYS Fluent it will show you the surface where you have a common variable so if you go to isosurface here you have 
surface of constants so you can select pressure isosurface velocity is isosurface if you select velocity isosurface it will show you the surface where a velocity is same so here you have the mesh so select this and this is the easiest way I am showing you so remember this direction XYZ direction so if you select X and compute then here it will show you it is from the origin so right now it's in meter so you can change it to meter to inch so go to unit and go to length here change it to meter to inch close now go to isosurface now x coordinate compute here you can see the x coordinate right now is this direction so this direction and it is 20 inch at the upstream and 40 inch at the downstream here you can see exactly the same value minus 20 and 40 so if you select y coordinate that is this direction and if you see compute then you can see from this center point the the y coordinate is plus 15 inch and minus 15 inch similarly for the z coordinate you have the same distance so right now if you want to create a plane you can change the iso value and you can create a plane let's say this z if we select the iso value 0 then it will create an xy plane at the center where z equals to 0 for demonstration you can see here this is the domain and we will create a plane at the center so this is the center plane where z equals to 0 so this this direction is the positive direction this direction is the positive direction positive z direction so if we change the z value let's say the z value is minus from minus 15 to plus 15 so if we change the z value from 0 to 5 inch it will create a plane 5 inch apart like here here if we select minus 5 inch my iso value minus 5 and create it will create a plane here So we can play with this ISO value and we can create a plane. So right now we want a plane at the middle. So our ISO value for Z coordinate is zero. You can name it. Let's say first plane, plane one and create. So it will create a plane. If you want to see this plane, go to graphics and animation mesh and select this plane and display now you can see this plane the plane has been created at the center so what about if we change the iso value in positive direction plus 5 and name it plane 2 create go to display plane 2 display see you have a plane in the positive z direction what about if we change this to minus 5 and name it plane 3 plane 3 create and from here display now you can see three different plane 
So we are just changing the ISO value in Z direction and we are creating the plane. If you want to change the ISO value of Y, if you go here and change the Y coordinate compute, you can see how far your Y coordinate from the origin is, is plus 15 to minus 15. So if you put the ISO value for Y coordinate 0, it will create a plane along this line. It will create a plane along this line. So go to Y coordinate and put the ISO value 0, create. So here you will see this Y coordinate 10. This is the plane display. Then you can see the plane. Similarly, you can change the X value and you can create the plane. But right now we are interested on plane 1, that is the mid plane in Z coordinate, that is this plane. And we will see the contour plot of velocity, temperature and pressure on this plane. So go to contour, setup, select plane 1, go to velocity, velocity magnitude and display and select this Z line and it will show you the normal direction. Right now the contour is a line contour. How can you feel this? You select this field and display. Now you can see the colored line contour. You can zoom it a little bit. If you want to change the smoothness you can change the level from 20 to 100 then you can see the smoothness of this contour now you can see the maximum velocity is 0 0.0326 meter per second and the minimum is zero you can change this color map as we discussed earlier go to option from left to bottom, apply and go to display, color map, apply and you change it to 3 to 20, apply and from exponential to float, then apply. Now you can see a very decent velocity contour at the mid plane. So you want to save this, so go to save JPG, color, white background, save it where you want to save to so in problem one. And name it velocity contour. Okay. So if you go to desktop, if you find the folder, here you will see the velocity contour. Similarly, if we want to see the temperature contour, you can go to contour, setup, you can change from velocity to temperature, static temperature, display, and it will show you the temperature contour. As you can see, cold air is flowing from this inlet direction and our cylinder is hot at a temperature of 80 degrees C so it will take some heat and the air will heat up in this direction you can easily see the temperature change so here our maximum temperature is 353 Kelvin and you can see the temperature at the downstream location now save it the same process name it temperature contour okay and you can see your temperature contour similarly 
the pressure control if we go to pressure static pressure display you can see the pressure also you can save this so this is your pressure so this is the process you can post process your solution you can see lots of pressure like static pressure dynamic pressure you can see velocity at different direction let's say this is x velocity if you change to y velocity this is y velocity if you want vorticity magnitude this is the vorticity magnitude in temperature you can see the total temperature you can see the enthalpy you can see the entropy so you can you can see lots of things going on and you can visualize all of these things in control plot so this is how we will answer the first question the velocity temperature and pressure control in the next tutorial we will see how to plot this velocity temperature and pressure at different location thank you